Hey you guys, what's up? I'm continuing from the previous video and today we are going to be going over car. This is going to be quite simple. Um, right now I'm just clearing out the information that I have from the last one because I don't need more space taken up on my computer. So basically for this, we're just going to check to see if, if a letter is true. We're not going to go full out advanced on this because I don't think you guys want to do that. <laughs> So we do want to magnify whatever is in this text box. Basically, they're just going to type a character and we're going to see if it's true to our true character. So we can go ahead and add a label. And we can put parentheses. Actually, we can put nothing if we really want to. And we can go in the font. And since we're magnifying it, uh, the text box is at 8.25, which is the same thing. So we actually want to magnify it probably at least almost triple. So I'm just going to go for 18. And we can set that up right there. So now when the text box is changed, we want to see if uh, actually want label one dot text to equal text box one dot text. And before we get any further, we need to go in the properties of text box one and change the maximum length to one since we're only doing characters now they can type numbers and we could prevent that from them typing numbers but hey we're just going to give this whirl without all that confusingness for you guys because you guys are still beginners and I want to take this easy so when they type something we want to check and make sure that it's what they uh, Okay, so we want to create a button in here. We're just going to type in check, of course. And we're going to declare our car right here. Dim letter as car is equal to D. That's literally all we have to do. Put it in those quotes. Not have double, triple quotes. Okay. So now we can go ahead and say uh, we want to create a try statement in case they do put a number or there's nothing there. We want to say uh, if label one dot text is equal to letter, then message box congrats. Else message box fail okay here we can go ahead and try this out and it should work so if we type in a magnifies it for us we can check it fail however if we do put D check it and congrats but if we put a one we still somehow get a fail okay <laughs> I guess it does work with numbers or whatever you want and we can even do a lowercase d and it does not work. So as you can see it's very case sensitive. You can do some string conversions and stuff to make that all uh, compatible. So upper and lowercase it doesn't matter. It's not case sensitive. That's all for this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video which will be decimal.